The Egyptian spinach is doing really, really good. But look, they really took it down. But that's okay, you know, when, when, when animals eat this Egyptian spinach, look, it's spr starting to sprout again. It's just gonna bush out. A lot, of, a lot of new growth right here. But look at this Moringa, it's huge. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the tops off these Moringas because all these uh, leaves are gonna die once we unroot them. And then we're just gonna keep the, the sh short trunks and the, uh, and the root. What's up everyone, it's Dave Stone with another exciting episode of Develop Awesome Skills where I'm committed to providing inspirational and practical ways to transform your life and the world around you by planting fruit and medicinal trees. And today I have a very exciting episode because I shared to you the garden experience, the community garden experience before in a few videos so you can go back and check out how my garden started. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna show you how the garden is doing right now and what we're gonna be doing today. But I really wanted to introduce you to Gail, the garden gal, right? Yes. Gail, the garden gal. Yep. So tell yep. me a little bit about this place and wh wh what what is this place called and what are you doing? This is Mountain View Community Garden and it is part of the Mountain View Park, which is part of the city of Phoenix. They built this about four years ago and it laid vacant for four years. And we, Keep Phoenix Beautiful, came in and said, hey, we're gonna make that thing go and teach people how to grow. Awesome. So in all my beds are full. I have every single bed rented out. And That's it's, awesome. So we're excited because right now is the perfect planting season. Yeah. So, and we're gonna plant the moringa trees over at Pearson today, yay! So that's what we're gonna be doing. So we're gonna be taking the moringa trees out of this bed. I'm gonna be bare rooting them and we're gonna be taking them down to a different community garden that she's also part- Garden manager. Garden manager of, and we're gonna be planting them along a little row. So I'm gonna take you along for that journey today also in this video. And so, welcome aboard. Yeah, so tell me a little bit real quick about Fe Keep Phoenix Beautiful, what is that? Keep Phoenix Beautiful is a nonprofit organization and exactly what the name means, Keep Phoenix Beautiful. We educate, we have community, community gardens, we do uh, recycling uh, programs. In fact, we have one coming up on, in October. And um, composting, uh, green waste, we want we don't want that going to the landfills that's our number one priority yeah. and to keep phoenix beautiful absolutely so i'm excited to be part of that team cool and if people want to know more about phoenix, keep phoenix beautiful or this community garden how would they get more information go to keep phoenix okay. that's our website and it has everything if you're interested in helping out or every four Saturday here at Mountain View, we have seconds, it's called uh, Four Saturday and we have like a volunteer day and a party afterwards. And up at Pearson, it's the second Saturday and we also have a celebration up there and as where's well. where's Pearson? Pearson is on 19th Avenue in, Cam in Camelback. Okay. And we park in the park and ride area. Okay, cool. And one more thing before we move on is I wanna talk a little bit about your obsession <laughs> with worms. Oh, yes. So talk a little bit about what your obsession is. Okay, my I have a Garden Gale uh, LLC, and what I do with that is I share my passion with the world. I do uh, library presentations. I do garden uh, ladies presentations, schools, and I go there and teach them about composting with worms. And we have a worm boot camp 101 where we go and they create their own worm farm to take home with them wow. and it's very reasonable i only charge 20 bucks wow that is amazing yeah so it, it's pretty fun and everybody enjoys it especially kids love it i did uh uh love your school today at sunny slope it was awesome and i'm wow. gonna help build that garden back up because right now it, it's just it, there, it hasn't been worked. I love that. So I'm excited about helping them out too. Awesome. So we try to at Keep Phoenix Beautiful, we really try to help the community, give back to the community. I love that. So, uh, and I'm a master gardener, and as part of the, being a master gardener, you've got to give back. Absolutely. That's so, awesome. and, and I'm so happy to be in the right place at the right time. Absolutely. Me too. Thank you for yeah. letting me join this amazing place. So Amen. Um, one in one sentence why should people care about worms because worms feed the earth and then they feed our plants it's a hundred percent organic 
It won't burn. It won't. It's amazing stuff. And why buy it? And why are we putting that waste in our landfills that's polluting our air? Let's compost. I say one worm farm at a time, one family. I try to get one family to compost with worms. I've, I've reached, I'm doing my goal. I love it. Awesome. Yeah. All right, so now we're gonna take a look at bed number 24, which you saw in the very, very beginning video when it was just empty. Um, it hasn't been that long, and I'll put right here on the screen how long it's been since these started from seed. But let's go check out this bed, and then we're gonna pull some of these moringas out. We're gonna chop them all down, and then we're gonna unroot them, and we're gonna put them in a bucket, and we're gonna take them down to Pearson Garden, and we're gonna plant them. And then I'll keep you in the loop on how they do over at Pearson. So, here we go. As you can see in the shadows here, this is bed number 24. This is my my bed that I got and I had planted from seed not that long ago. And these moringas are now up above the shade structure and the Egyptian spinach is too. And as you can see, look at all of it. It's the Egyptian spinach has been ravaged by probably critters. And you know what? That's totally okay. And that's what I actually like about planting these together is because look, they ate all the Egyptian spinach, but they didn't touch the moringa. So the moringas are definitely, and look, they're pretty big. They're getting big down there. Okay, you wanna be real gentle when you pull these roots out. Uh, get as much dirt as you can around them, but the dirt's probably gonna end up falling off of the root, and that's not, oh, that's not bad, so just be very careful. I'm gonna put some dirt in the bucket first, in one of these buckets, and then I'm going to uh, start laying in some of these roots, and I'll show you how I'm gonna do it in a second. So first I'm gonna find the moringas that, uh, these are all Egyptian spinach right here. Oh yeah, for sure. And you only got ten of them, so. And I think I got some bat poop. So there's some smaller some moringas food. that I'm just gonna yeah. take out right now and try to keep a lot of soil in the shovel yeah. for. So these are kind of looking like a carrot. You can see that? Dirt falls right off. So you want to be very gentle with this right here. So I already have the dirt prepared and I'm just gonna set it right in there. So here's the first batch. Okay. Nice. Do you want yeah, water on it? Top all these. Check out these guys. These are big ones. Nice big roots forming. Oh, thank you so much, sweetie. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> This is Dave Stone. Hi, how are you? Hey, how are you? And Excellent. this is one of the gardeners from Sunny Slope uh, Senior Center. Oh, how cool. It, it, it never came up yet. So. Here, would you like this tree here? Look at my blessing. I just, I just <laughs> yes, you blessed. did. Well, you know what? Moringa is called the tree of life. Oh, the tree of wow. life. Yes, tree of life. Praise tree God. of life. We've never actually ever asked for things to be easy either, have we? Easy's never been the goal. Not easy, right. If easy was the goal, then we'd do other things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but no. we want to actually improve the world, and that's a different, that's a totally different, different. set of rules. Exactly. That we operate yeah. under. And you so. know, most people, I think most people that have that feeling are very close to uh, the higher being. I agree. I think people know yeah. that this isn't it. This isn't the end and that there's something greater than all of us out right. there. Right. Um, when people learn that, it's, their, their lives change. Oh, definitely. There's a little you, piece too. You, go, you have hope. Absolutely. You know, without the that. the world is full of no hope. Exactly. And yeah. hope comes from within through learning about things greater than this world. Yeah. And you know, sometimes, Dave, you don't even have to speak just by your 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 just by you, you know what I That's mean? That's a good point too, for sure. Because a lot remember. of times, you know, people say the, say the talk, but they don't do the walk. And that's damn, that makes it worse. Basis. Absolutely. But, I mean, the moral of the story is we gotta be the people we say we are. Yep. 
and we have to say the peop say we are the people who we want to be. We'll learn and think about and ask ourselves what do we really want in life. Yeah. And when we answer that question, what do we want? our whole life filter will literally uh, show us the right path. Yeah. If we don't ask the question of what do I truly want in this life, if money wasn't an issue, if if uh, if restrictions weren't an issue, what would I do? If that question is never answered in your life, it's going to be hard to be fulfilled. Yeah. But money, money should not even play a factor. Money should not play a factor. Unfortunately, it does. Big. It, it's a huge factor, and, huge. It, and it actually motivates people to do things uh, consistently every single day that they hate. Exactly. But if you don't have the goal of what your next level is, and you're just in your job, there's not that extra little piece. And yeah. so I think people need to find a passion, whether or not they monetize it. And nowadays everybody tells you that you're supposed to monetize your passion, but, yeah. but you don't, it doesn't have to, it can't be about money. If your passion is about money, it's not a passion. It's, exactly. But once you get good at doing your passion and really good at it, you're worth money. I'm worth money, but my time is worth something. Your time is so valuable. Exactly. And there's nobody on earth that could do exactly what you're doing. You have a unique thing to offer the world. And if you don't do it, the world is not as good of a place as it could have been. Yes, one kid at a time. Absolutely. One family at a time, because they're giving something back to the community. Absolutely. Teaching them how to compost. That's what? huge, because everybody, you know, when I actually see people at their um, at their houses and they're eating vegetables and then they throw them all away, all away, it's like there's, it kind of actually grinds me a little bit. I'm like, oh, do you know that you, you know, actually you could just throw that outside and it would be better than just throwing it away. When I'm at a place where, well, there isn't any place where you can't count. You can put it in a bag and take it home. But when I used to throw vegetables away, I would feel so guilty. Yeah. Like, oh my God, I, I shouldn't be doing this. Yeah. You're creating methane in the environment if you do that versus actually creating healthy uh, living soil, soil. For, for plants to thrive. Yeah. So exactly. Don't so. throw your vegetables away. Never. <laughs> Bring them to the garden. We yeah. take them. Find a community gardens. gardens. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. That's the best way to do it. Now, if you're not going to compost on your own, just bag them up and drop them off drop at a community them up. garden. Drop Even throw them over the fence. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take it. Oh, uh, no. But we, uh, I believe in compost. That's, that is my passion. That really is my passion because we got to, we're so far behind. Mm -hmm. Europe is so far ahead of us. Mm -hmm. We have a long way to go, but you know, urban farms and learning how to compost in community gardens are going to change the world because people are realizing that, that our food is dirty when you buy it in exactly. the store. Growing it ourselves is, is really the only way to Guaranteed. sustain and guarantee healthy food. Yes, exactly, exactly. So, yeah. Grow your own food, grow your own moringa, and join a community garden. And if you're in Phoenix, give Garden Gale, Gale. the Garden Gal a call. <laughs> hey, what's your Garden Gal website? It is Garden Gale phx.com that's my website awesome all right we're gonna go to the other garden now and we're gonna take these moringas and we're gonna get them planted